animals in the winter. Always, always wondering what to do, what to bed them with, how to handle the frigid, cold, snowy temperatures, right? Yes, yes, lots of snow, lots of snow, even some inside. So I do not choose to use straw. And here's why. Last year, we lined the goat shack in straw because we wanted to insulate it to keep them warmer. We have made some upgrades and we have put the wood paneling around so it's not a problem this year. But um, we found a lot of different things, a lot of different issues. Mice love to bed in straw. Not something you want around your animals. Yes, mice are a part of outdoor living, but you don't want to invite them if you can avoid it. So mice come along with all kinds of other things, a lot of different bugs, a lot of different gross. Um, mites can live inside the straw because it's hollow and they infest the crap out of your chickens. And then they, mites can kill a chicken. We didn't struggle with mites until we moved here to this area and then also using more straw. So we have a homestead ban on straw for the most part. So what do I use instead? Goats are notorious hay feed wasters. So what we don't gather and feed to the rabbits, it goes onto the ground as wasted hay, which then turns into bedding, which then turns into compost, which then turns into vegetables. I also, to supplement the hay, we use wood shavings. Um, this I believe is pine. Um, I like to use pine because I can compost it. I bought a cedar bale for the chicken coop and I thought, oh, why did I do that? Cedar does not break down very easily. So if I use pine shavings, and the goats like to nibble on them too because they're weird. But um, we're gonna go ahead and put a fresh bedding down. Straw stinks like really bad. Once it starts getting all the pee and poo and just like starts composting, it smells really bad. My job was to come out and pour, put lime on it to break it down and help the smell. And that was probably one of my least favorite jobs. And so now that we have the wood shavings, it does not stink like nearly as much. Also, straw gets like really slimy. So like it, it retains all the, all the moisture. So when it gets, when we're mucking out the stall and when it gets down to the bottom, it's just like gross, slimy nastiness that stinks really bad. So straw may be the cheapest option out there, but really is it cheap? I mean, financially, yes, but then you've got to deal with other things. When I was milking the girls last spring, I had bugs crawling on me because the bugs were on the goats. It's just, ah. And then you have problems with the mites. You've got to buy the diatomaceous earth to help offset the mites. So yes, financially it's cheaper, but is it really cheaper when you have to do these other things to help get rid of the problem for bringing in the straw. So homestead ban on straw, for the most part, um, I'm really happy with what we use, the shavings. I also have used grass hay and that's been very good too. So you just do the dang best you can with what you have, but that is what we choose to do for our animal bedding in the winter. In the chicken coop, we just started using some um, paper shreddings from the house with the paper shredder. So use the resources you have available. Thanks for joining us today here on our crazy adventure. Make sure to give us that thumbs up and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe I need a better knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that smells good. You need those? <laughs>